The player that's impressed me most this year, as far as a young kid coming up, uh, there's actually even a more impressive player, I think, than him overall so far this season. But just as one of these young bucks coming up that we're hoping can start to hit is the uh, former first round pick of your Seattle Mariners, Logan Keith Gilbert. This guy jumped onto the scene last year, had a good number of starts, about 24 starts. Um, didn't light the world on fire, but he was solid during that time period. Showed some of the live action on that arm and some of the late movement uh, that was what made him a first-round pick in the first place. And indeed, he is starting to look like one of the main cogs of this starting rotation as we go forward. He has been, in a word, dominant this year. Justin Verlander wasn't having his incredible start like he is, and what kind of juice is that guy must be on at his age to be doing what he's doing? Goodness gracious. But beyond that, this kid has been dominant, and he is as uh, it's a welcome thing, as I said, a lot like with Julio Rodriguez in the other video, that you're starting to see some of these young guys pop, and it's just going to get us more and more encouraged because that's less than we have to do in going out there and trading for guys or less we have to do in going out there and signing guys in free agency. The more that this is homegrown from within, the better. And Logan Gilbert is a great pitcher, not only um, in this league, but built for Safeco Field. He is um, exactly the problem type pitcher that you're seeing in this modern major leagues where he throws so hard and the movement is so good. Used to be that you used to have to, get, to give up velocity to get movement. Now you get movement with the velocity. It's no wonder these hitters are really, really struggling. His uh, outlier numbers are certainly solid here. 2-1-3 ERA, 1-1 uh, whip. Um, he's a 1-0 war guy from the starting pitching point after only seven games started. So... Those are all well and good. I, I think the main thing that jumps out to me that I'm going to show you here on this screen that really, as much as anything gets me concerned, not concerned, but encouraged with him, and by no means was this a huge problem last year necessarily, but it's it still has remained a, a good part of his game, which is a power pitcher with a good amount of ability to either get enough swings and misses or with his control to get enough of that plate uh, to get his strikeouts to walk ratio well over the line of where you would like to see it. 42 strikeouts on the year, only 14 walks. This is after last year with 128 strikeouts and only 28 walks. Uh, you put these outliers together, power pitcher with control, um, who's really starting to grow into his own, who's perfectly suited, ideally suited in a lot of respects for uh, safe code because it does seem like guys at times will just you know, knock it on into the dirt when they do get their, uh, do do in those rare occasions, get their bat on that when he's not uh, missing, missing bats with his throw. But this kid is going to be, I think, it continue to be another uh, great addition onto this ball club. And again, one of the main pillar points of our rotation as we go forward. Robbie Ray, Logan Gilbert, we start to get some more of these guys bookended in. And not just guys, not just names, right? Not just a Kukuchi from last year that you're just here. Well, we hope this guy could be something, but actually a really lock stock upper level starter in this league slash may even have some star power.